in this text.txt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, some PHP in it so that I can test it out. Now, we'll put our opening PHP tags and our closing PHP tags. In between, what we'll do is is we can do something simple like we'll echo out uh, the PHP server is now installed and what we'll do is we'll end it off with a little bit of PHP info which will give you all the information to your current server. We'll go ahead and save it And now that I've saved it, I can go ahead and change the extension of it to PHP. And now, as you can see, it looks like my server has recognized it as a PHP package because it looks like the majority of the package is all already installed. So PHP as you can see is already installed with the the way the icon changed here so the package is almost done installing we'll wait just a couple of seconds more and let's see hmm there we go Then it's telling us where it has been extracted to. And it looks like, hey, look, there it is. We'll click OK. It's just a little bit of information. It'll do a finish, a few finishing touches before it's actually finished. And then once the majority of, of the uh, installation has gone through, it'll ask you for your password one more time. And that is coming up right there. Now the password that, that you inputted, which was your global password at the beginning of the install, that's the password that you want to enter here. If you enter the wrong password here, e your package might not install complete. So you want to make sure you remember what password you put in there. Alrighty. And look at that. That was easy and painless. We'll click OK and the system will go into reboot and while it's rebooting what it's doing is it's refreshing all the uh, installation uh, it's going to add all the packages that it needs to in order to respond as a web server now if, if you remember our web server is in the root directory of SRV for server. Yours might be in a different one depending on what you named it at the beginning of the install. And it looks like as soon as this loads, we'll go ahead and test it to make sure that um, our server is up and running correctly. Okay. We'll go to our C drive. Remember, this is the uh, file that I created. I'll go ahead and cut it and post it into the htdocs. Now, your htdocs is your your root directory for your documents, um, where your web server is going to look for all the uh, HTML files, the PHP files, and that's where gonna, they're going to load from. So we'll go over to a new window in Internet Explorer and we'll type in localhost. And as you can see, I, I had already installed the, the WAMP server once before. And 
the PHP server is now installed. And this is the PHP info that I was talking to you about. And just so that we're convinced that that is our file that's working there, we can actually change this around. Maybe, maybe we can add some of the PHP servers now installed and ready to go. save it and we'll go back down here go back up to the top where our text is we'll do a refresh and look at that the PHP server is now installed and ready to go congratulations you have now installed WAMP server